Alright guys, pretty big news here. Marianne Williamson has confirmed she will run for president in 2024. Potentially big news. I guess we'll see how it works out. Maybe it won't be big news. Maybe it won't matter at all. Anyway, Marianne Williamson, a prominent progressive who ran for president in 2020, confirmed in an interview pub published Thursday that she will run again for the Democratic nomination for president in 2024. That would put her in a Democratic primary against President Biden, who has announced his own plans but is widely expected to run for re-election next year. Quote, I wouldn't be running for president if I didn't believe I could contribute to harness the collective sensibility, to harnessing the collective sensibility that I feel is our greatest hope at this time, Williamson told the Medill News Service, which is run by Northwestern University in an exclusive interview. No other Democrats have officially waded into the race yet, making Williamson the first. Williamson previously teased, quote, an important announcement that she said he would be making on March 4th, which has been speculated as a presidential announcement. Williamson gained notoriety during the 2020 during the oh that's a lot of 20s during the 2020 presidential race, especially during the first several presidential primary debates, where some of her spiritual remarks won her fans online. However, her campaign lasted one year, and she dropped out in January 2020. During her interview with the Medill News Service, she also criticized the Democratic National Committee's DNC's design to change the early presidential primary schedule, which places South Carolina as the first state in the lineup. South Carolina, where, Bird, where Biden first placed first in 2020, is widely credited for helping boost his momentum in that Democratic primary. How can you claim to be a champion of democracy when your own process is so undemocratic, Williamson told the student-run news outlet. The news comes as polling has often shown Democrats less favorable of a Biden re-election bid. One poll from the Associated Press, NORC Center for Public Affairs Research, for example, saw only 37% of members of his party polled supportive of a second Biden term. That is definitely an interesting number. I'm curious to know the reason behind why that number showed up. And I'm also curious to know the demographics of that poll. Anyway, Biden was expected to make an announcement that he will be running for re-election in the coming weeks. Multiple sources told The Hill last month, though it's unclear when that might happen. Okay, so for those of you who don't know who she is, let's just go over this. I'm just going to go over this briefly. Later, um, I'm going to try to do a video on her policies and what she believes in. But for now, let's just give like a brief overview. Um, so this is her Wikipedia page. She's an American author, spiritual leader, and political activist. She's written 14 books, including four New York Times number one bestsellers in the advice, how-to, and miscellaneous category. She's also the founder of Project Angel Food, a volunteer food delivery program that serves homebound people with HIV slash AIDS and life-threatening illnesses, as well as the co-founder of the Peace Alliance, a nonprofit education and advocacy organization. She has frequently appeared on the Oprah Winfrey Show. Oprah Winfrey Show. Oprah Winfrey Show. I think I got it. In 2014, Williamson, un Williamson unsuccessfully ran as an independent representing California's 33rd Congressional District in the United States House of Representatives. On January 9th, 2019, she announced her campaign for the Democratic nomination in the 2020 United States presidential election and suspended her campaign on January 10th, 2020. I do remember seeing her on the, the debate stage a little bit. Um, I know she's also done some interview with Kyle Kalinske over at Secular Talk. Um, she went on Dave Rubin's show, too. Um, so I've seen her in multiple places. I, I don't know how many people really know of this lady, though. Um, she later endorsed, Ber endorsed Bernie Sanders at a rally in Austin, Texas on February 3rd, 2020. February 23rd, 2020. She, would hired, she was hired as a columnist for Newsweek shortly after the conclusion of the campaign. And on February 23rd, 2023, she stated that she plans to run for president in the 2024 Democratic presidential primaries, challenging incumbent President Joe Biden. Yeah, so um, I'm really interested to see where this goes. I don't know how much it's going to matter that she's running. Is she going to be someone who just, like, you know, there's always the off random chance that she actually puts up, like, a legitimate, like, bid against Biden and gets, like, a lot of, a lot of votes, and it's a problem for Democrats and Republicans. There's also the possibility that she just plays spoiler to Biden. There's also the possibility that I think you could take the angle that she's trying to be more official 
in order to like this this run is I don't want to say fake, but it could be that it's to show Biden and you know his supporters, his uh, his branch, his idea of government, however you want to say it. It could be more so to just push for certain issues rather than to like actually like win the nomination. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but next time we'll go into like a little bit of her policy. Not next time, but at some point I'll make a video about a little bit of her policy. Um, see what she's all about. But yeah, for now, Marion Williamson confirming she will run for president in 2024.